Hi all and welcome to the Truth, Honour and Integrity Show. Uh, the day you've all been waiting for. Uh, so we've got a fairly packed show again tonight. Some in real interesting pieces and lots of dot connecting after pondering and some Q&A. <laughs> all in the one show. But first, I am pleased to announce the first land purchase of the village is now completed as of today. And we are making steady progress with the TPC with new ideas, new plans and now extra sharing amongst members. There is three other land deals under contract with three other pe uh, groups of people that are pondering and four others who are considering moving also with many more requesting certain information. But with that comes the kickback of people who wish to destroy any good work being done by the people. And what this proves is we are right over the target. So let's double our efforts to build our way and leave them behind. They have and will become immersed in the old world and there they will all ways reside now some people feel the personal choice of others are selfish and need to be regulated but what is really selfish is expecting others to surrender their liberties so they can enjoy a false sense of security and the covid bullshittery just rolls on and gets more bizarre experts looking more and more Stupid, the bots even worse. Runners, cyclers, walkers and even swimmers wearing masks all complying when the government in this country said a few weeks ago that it had been drawn back on the conditions and also the restrictions. And yet all this despite the policy makers never observing the restrictions since day one and that's something we highlighted in May of June of last year. And so the, now the masked crusader Biden wants to go door to door with vaccines. OK, we have a simple solution to that. Pin a notice to your door of no soliciting and those who knock or ring are subject to a $10,000 penalty. That ends that nonsense. The medical people have gone from sucking your blood to harvesting your energy. Roll up and meet Dr. Acula, who despite being a count, cannot do math, just like John Hopkins. But how times have changed. Back in 1909, there was a vehicle called a Babcock Runabout Electric car yes 1909 that ran for 1244 miles on one charge yet the so much more advanced tesla electric car 110 years later runs just 408 miles on one charge and it's like the fastest speed internet in reality on some sites it's no better than dial up at times and yes, you, me, we, whilst the show is running. Get 4G, now 5G, and watch your speeds go up, they say. But has anyone noticed the internet any faster? Or is it actually less, just like the electric car? But what is 5G anyway? Generations, they say. But the G looks awfully Masonic symbols to me. But let's look at the word generation, shall we? It is stated to be out about a collection of people all born and living at the same time. And nothing too threatening about that. Until you break the word up. And it becomes gene and ration. Rationing is the controlled distribution of scarce resources, goods, services, or an artificial restriction of demand. 
rationing controls the size of the ration, which is one's allowed portion of the resources being distributed on a particular day or at a particular time. Now, there are many forms of rationing, although rationing by price is most prevalent. And the greatest example of that type of rationing is homes. Now, we have 5G. Wi-Fi. Is it gene and ration? Because why... WI is a financial instrument. When issued, WI is a transaction that is made conditionally because a security has been authorised but not yet issued. Se Treasury securities, stock splits and new issues of stocks and bonds are all traded on a when issued basis. FI is sure for finance. So does the 5G Wi-Fi mean of issuing a new stock or set of bonds? And remember, the people are considered the stock and bonds are war instruments. When they are ready to cash in or have they declared war on the people with gene ration? And I wonder what happens when the masses find out that the conspiracy theorists are more knowledgeable and expert than the experts themselves. Music